Magical basket. I'll pick you up. No. God damn it. Oh, never mind. Hey, thank you, programming. You actually work. Alright, where's the pregnant lady? Pregnant lady, I got something for your baby that's coming in a while. And by a while, I mean endgame. Oh, I've been looking for that cradle. I mean, when uh, my first child was born, and I've cherished it all these years. Okay. Did you know I'll somehow bring it back on purpose? N no, not plot expedition. Expedition. Not exp exposition. There we go. Don't know why I can't say that word. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. And run past the woman and run right up to the house. My thanks to you, Link. I'm not doing a woman's voice. Yes, yes, I've never forgotten this. Blah, blah, blah. Here you go. Oh, I got a fishing rod. I like it. Look at Link's face. He's just like, oh my god. This is the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Link is so mesmerized by it. He's just like, this is incredible. Link, it's just a fishing rod. No, you don't understand. This is the best damn fishing rod ever. But Link, ever! Uh, it's a little unpolished. Uh, my son called me under instructions of his father. You can use it if you like. Will do. This is my secret weapon against the final boss of the game. And you're like, wait, what? You will see. You will see. So, the next thing we have to do is... Smash some pumpkins. Pumpkins! Give me rupees! Though they don't give a sufficient amount, sadly enough. So the next thing we have to do is go rolling in bushes. Apparently, we have to make ourselves dirty in order to get money. <laughs> Don't know why, don't really care. But you want enough rupees in order to buy a item uh, for the next part of the game. And then after that, I'm going to exploit the first glitch of this game. Well, actually, I don't know what I want to do. I want to get uh, the sword first, then I want to get... Um, uh. Yes! Okay. Eagle buddy! Come! Magical! Hawk! Eagle buddy of friendship and love and... Uh, why do I keep doing this shit? <laughs> Come to me. There we go. Okay, buddy. This is what I want you to do. You see that nest over there? I want you to hit that nest and scare the man on the ground. Do it! Do it for our friendship! Oh, he didn't scare the person on the ground. Man, eh, whatever. I just wanted to do that so I can actually climb the tree so I can get some uh, items later on. Alright, so let's see. Items! Oh, wait, that's a seasick. Never mind. Darn it, I'm thinking this is. <laughs> I'm thinking this is like, um. Uh, Majora's Mask right now. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, buddy. Watch this. Now we're going. Now professional bass fishing with Link. Come here. Fish. Hey, buddy. Now you see. Yeah. This cat knows what I'm doing. Now, continuing professional bass fishing with Link. That is a bobs. Wait for it to go down. And there it is. Wait for it. Go. As we suddenly wait for this fish to finally come up. Come on. Ah! God damn it! <sighs> That's the only part I hate about this part in the game is just waiting for got that fish.
go. Come on. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yeah. We did it. Go, kitty. <laughs> He's all links us like the bitch stole my fish. Was it really necessary to show the cat run all the way back? I think Nintendo deemed it necessary to watch that the fish goes completely back. Just, yep. Uh, at this point, I don't care. Dry flank. Hurry up. There we go. Alright. Now, the one thing that I hate about this game is when Link is climbing up vines, he he has like the most severely nerfed climbing animation. It, it's like they made Link take his sweet ass time. I'm just like, they should have basically made the climbing animation for the ladder and the vines similar in a way where Link is not a fucking snail. Okay, gotta be careful with the camera angle. Camera angle. Don't be a bitch. Five rupees. I think I need at least 30 or 40. Can't remember exactly. Okay, now I gotta get this one. A roll! Roll Link! There we go. Oh yeah, Link surviving tall heights. No broken legs or arms or anything. Alright, let's go buy some items. Hey? Where's my free bottle? Yeah, he's a genius. This guy is such a genius that he stole our fish. He was smart enough to figure out that we were catching the fish and then stole it. He's a pretty good cat, all right. He is a genius. Sneaky genius he is. Sweet! Yeah, we get a bottle this early in the game, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Hey, I I'm, I'm here to buy stuff. Thirty. All right. Cool. Buy it. I don't care. I buy it if I want. I don't care if I'm not a little kid or whatever. Yeah. See you later. Ah. Why the hell does my nose itch so much? I don't know. It just itches. So I'm like, I gotta scratch it. Why won't it stop itching? Itchy nose. That was a weird noise. All right. Hey. Ah, just in time, Link. I delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. That's good. <laughs> okay. That guy's still a creep. You. Ah, oh, damn it. Go. Ah, oh, damn it. Why do I keep thinking? I keep thinking the C stick is the same thing. It's it's not the same. It's not the same. Oh, and for people that don't know and I haven't noticed, I'm playing this on the um, yeah the GameCube version instead of the Wii version because the Wii version handles like ass. <laughs> it's always has, and I, I I always prefer the GameCube version because originally this is what the game was made for, the GameCube, not the Wii. It was ported at the last minute, and they actually released two versions of the game, which was the Wii version and the GameCube version. I won the GameCube version because I thought the GameCube version would be better, plus I didn't have the Wii at the time, so I was just like, fuck it. The, the that was unexpected, but I'll take that one rupee. Alright, so... Now this is where the glitch comes in. At this point, this is what you have to do. You pick up said rock, and then you take said rock to a fence. Now, generally, you can't do this until later on, because what ends up happening is through plot expedition... Exposition. God, why can't I say that word? Uh, you would eventually get to this area while it's unlocked. But we say, fuck that. Drop the rock in a corner. 
jump into the fence. Roll. Roll. Go, Link. Go. Roll. And essentially, this is a glitch that you can exploit in order to access this area early. Though, it's not the easiest thing, because essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to roll into the middle of the fence. And there we go. It's going to take a bit of time before this happens. Eh. Okay, we're enough of that. Hurry up, Link. Am I going to ever hit the middle of this goddamn thing or not? Ugh. This is so painfully slow. And that's the problem with this glitch, is you have to do this. In order to activate this glitch, you have to do this slow, tedious process. Eventually, you will hit the... It's like there's a solid block in the dead center of this thing. It'll force you, it, it'll basically, what it does is the block forces you out of this area and just knock you into the next area. Onto the bridge. Where the hell am I? God damn it! There we go! Ugh. Alright, and now we've just broken the game. Continuing on with plot that should have come later on. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh. Now, this is one thing I actually wanted to show off in my original playthrough, but because the Dazzle, for some reason, didn't like that, it decided to say, fuck you. Now, generally, what you want to do is you actually don't want the sword if you want to do stuff. Alright, since we're out of the boundaries, Apona, come girl! Because usually you would be right in through here with Apona. I swear, sometimes parts of this game were, like, made for just glitches. I don't know why. Alright. Alright, Apona, I'm gonna have to leave you here, girl. Sorry, it's just my way. Eh, nobody's here. Thought I heard an enemy. Wait a second. Aren't you that guy from Final Fantasy 13? Nah. Oh, an Ordurian. Hey, guy. Uh, listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around these woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There's a ton of caves and dank spots around here and that get pretty dark, even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy. Take this. Thank you, man. He's not so mesmerized by this one. He's just like, ooh, shiny. Though, I have to say, Link is still mesmerized by that damn fishing rod. He's like, this is the best damn thing ever. <sighs> See? I sell oil lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sale by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try setting a fire under that big point. Yeah, nah. Alright, oh, Damn it! I keep doing that! <sighs> okay, set that to Y. Now, the cool thing about the lantern is, even if you have it out, essentially what you can do is... Oh, hey, it's a deck of Baba. And he's dead. Smash your head! I got seeds. You found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. Whose? I don't know. 